Hey guys, we're in a new house now. Uh, just wanted to got boxes behind us and everything. I'm sitting here with Joe, who's set. I'm sitting on a basically a child step stool here, so I'm higher than Joe. See, but it reminds me of when he was little. See, uh, he's playing some games right now, so I'm gonna zoom him out. Uh, He's lucky because I was able to get him that latest, whatever it is, PlayStation 5 or whatever it is. Uh, so in his free time, that's what he does. But we're in a new house. We're in a new apartment. Uh, Joe's probably going to go up and do some jump rope. And we're waiting on the Homeowners Association to give us the okay, which the pre the administrator president and several of the council people are saying it's okay we just got to get a paper or something to put his equipment up there in the gym but i just want to talk about something right quick uh the bkfc light heavyweight champion put a video out he's real folks i miss why i loved it Love this young man so much. Uh, this is why. You know I love hard hitters, and he's the best of the best there today. But this is really why I, lo I love this young man. He has a minor auto accident today. Get gets his rearview mirror clipped. And he's like me. He, he can, boom, short fuse and be wide open on it. Uh, but here's the testament to character. Now he gets out, and this guy's telling him, Please, sir, don't cuss at me. Please, sir, uh, be calm. We'll get this sorted out. And you should go. If you guys don't subscribe to the real Danny Christie, you need to. So, anyways, he puts a video out explaining what happened today, and he's like, you know, one of my defects is flying off the handle. Uh, I'm paraphrasing him, by the way. And, you know, he's short fuse, you know, and there's a lot of us like that. A lot of us like that. Me. And, uh, but he catches hold of himself, and that's the mark. Of where you're really becoming a strong man when you hold back to really wring in somebody's neck and you catch yourself and you realize well hey hold on it's, it's not that important uh, so but he said something really really amazing and everybody in the world needs to get this and fly with it and understand it he said and in the end of the scheme of things, he's in the car telling the story. And he says, you know, I'm on my way back home. And he said, you know what? I feel compelled in this strong urgency type thing to read, to read the Bible. So that's what we need to be doing. Nobody's reading the Bible yet. Everybody knows who Jesus Christ is, but yet nobody has a clue about him. It's all assumptions, and we know what happens when we assume things. And God said it be like this, and it is. Uh, uh, he did the right thing. He didn't run to a church house. Uh, he, he, he didn't run to pound the bag. Uh, he's like, I'm going to run to a Bible. And... We all need to take note of that because that's what we need to do because we're all, every one of us are messed up deeply. The sooner you realize that, the better off you're going to be. And the sooner I realize that and keep that at the forefront of my brain, the better off I'm going to be and the better off the world's going to be. We're all defected pieces of garbage. And, uh, you know, that... Christ is the King of Kings. He's the Lord of Lords. And we all fall short of that. And we need to realize that. And uh, you get in a jam. You catch yourself. Or whether you just do something and follow through. And don't catch yourself. Run, read a Bible. 